Guys, as you know, this message of the kingdom is the only message that will do the trick. Jesus, after he rose from the dead, he appeared to his own many times to prove to them that he was alive. He did not teach them anything except speaking about the message of the kingdom of heaven. What does this mean? It means that according to Jesus, the message of the kingdom of heaven is the only message Christians should talk about when they meet, when they dine, when they fellowship. This means this is the only message that is worth listening according to Jesus. Why then guys are pastors preaching and teaching the message of the beast, the message of money, the message of riches, the message of the love of things of the world? Is it because it's lucrative? Granted. I mean, guys, Judas sold Jesus because apparently Jesus is expensive. Mm -hmm. If not, why would pastors decide to side with the beast? The people of the world, guys, obviously will love the message of the beast. The churchgoers will obviously love the message of the beast. As it is, there is a church in every corner. And this is the message. And churches are filled with people listening to me, this message, loving this message. Pastors did not consider the fact that there were people who still wanted the word of God. They only thought about themselves. Guys, pastors are preaching about money, preaching about riches, preaching about earthly blessings because in turn, they get this money, they get these riches, they get these blessings from the congregation. So I'm not blaming them for siding with the beast. The problem is that they did not consider the fact that there were those who still wanted the true word of God, the undiluted word of God. Guys, I know I'm not the only one. People of God, guys, might be hiding in bushes or in the forest, but I'm not ashamed to come out and say enough is enough. According to Paul in 2 Thessalonians 2, this message of the peace, guys, will not stop. So I don't expect it to stop. But Jesus also said, when everyone has heard of the message of the kingdom of heaven, he will then come. So I want him to come. Guys, I'm not ignorant of the fact that this message of the peace will never end. This message of money, of riches and earthly blessings. Jesus said it will never end. He said that it will end when he comes. Paul said that uh, Satan will sit in the body of Christ. Who is the body of Christ? The body of Christ are, are, are those who have accepted the blood of Jesus. So I know it will never end. I don't expect it to end. I'm not ignorant of that fact. But I'm saying that Jesus also said that when everyone has heard of the message of the kingdom of heaven, then he will come. It's time now he comes. These pastors are stopping Jesus from coming because of this message of the beast, because they've sided with the beast. Yeah. Guys, I don't know. I really, really don't know. Are people forced to obey this message? No. Are people forced to believe the message of the beast? Uh, I mean, the message of the kingdom of heaven? No. People are not even forced to take it, but people must hear it. That's the only requirement. The only requirement for Jesus to come is for people to hear the message of the kingdom of heaven. So people don't have to believe it. They don't have to take it. They, they don't have to believe it. They simply have to hear about it. Then the end will come. So I'm going to keep on announcing this message of the kingdom of heaven until I am satisfied that everyone has heard of it. Guys, I mean, YouTube, guys, everyone can assess you, YouTube. It's accessible to, to everyone on the face of the earth. So I want to make sure that everyone on the face of the earth has heard of the message of the beast. Thank you. About the kingdom of heaven. Greetings, guys.